See, look at that. It's a real thing. And I got something else too. Can you read? And that was the original one. Man. That was dizzy and tiny. Boy, inside. Bubble memory. Hmm. Bubble memory. I see a long time ago. Magnetics. Is there anything as such as a monopole or magnetism? Hmm. If you take a magnet and you break it in half, it has a north and a south. But when you break it in half, it has again a north and an end and a rebel. So, these both has a brochure about bubble memory. But this one has an original photo inside of it. From a Polaroid camera. Amazing, isn't that? Where is that? That's a demonstration of how a paper is constructed. How pieces are made be broken. This is uh, this is the new one for the bird. You see? And everything inside of it. Pages and pages of oh wow, we look at that beautiful color and everything. See, find it in the index. And I have the original thing over there. Because down here I have all the schematics how it worked too. It has a Hmm, you see these over here? These are the old floppy disk drives. There was this engineer. I developed a test. He thought he could do 80 tracks. We only started out with 40. And it says here, is there a low cost microcomputer? It is not a toy. You see, it was the Intel 8080 by digital research for control program for microprocessors. Look at this here. You see it was the size of a typewriter. You know? That was in 1979. And all these printouts and everything. See you can hook it up to all kinds of printers and everything if you wanted to because I was a technician that wired with heat shrink and Bobby Morris in Golden Coast Center. Which is, I think, in that direction. I like said, ah, let's see. Let's see, uh, I have a little compass. It's difficult to find the directions here. But whatever. So I put this inside the real microcomputer. Isn't that beautiful diagramming and everything, page after page? You see, on the back, they have RS-232. If you see right here, right there. RS-232, right over there. And then there's a Centronic port. You see, that's a parallel port. See, parallel processing is quicker. RS-232, that is a standard, you see. But it's a serial port. But you know, with these things here, these little things right here, these are serial too. This is a serial type of a port too. It's called the USB. It's USB 2.0. It's a universal serial bus. So I put this inside of that. Here's another brochure. Like that, you see. And another one there. Application software basic utilities. Here's a sample of the printout. It was an 8096 132 plain paper built in printer. It used the 100 TD and the 128. 
it was a two day or whatever, 102 day or whatever. It seems like they put it together in two days is what they expect to write. I have all of them over there, right back there. And you see, it only weighed, the increase in weight by having this, instead of having this aluminum type of a thing, it only increased it by about five pounds. But you see, they show it with a phone in the back, but see, that's way in the back. They think, you know, you could plug it in, but that was maybe an idea that they were planning to do. We were going to do all kinds of things with that, but then, you see, it really doesn't plug into there. The phone would plug into someplace else, you see. But you see, they said, well, that and that, but that was the vision of a basic and COBOL CPM, see, Control Program for Microprocessors, but we use it to the Intel 8080. We use a Z80, that's a Zilog. It has a double set of registers, it's the A, the B, and the C. There's also the H and the L. And there's non-maskable and maskable interrupts. You see, I knew a lot of my computers because I was in the analysis section when I was in the Air Force, and I keep on the IBM computers at the mainframe computer, you see. You see, this is not a toy. And here are some complementary features and peripherals. So the selling price, the retail price at that time, was $5,000. Isn't that the mailing? And this is March. 1979. You see what I mean? That one ago is how I learned everything about computers and technology. So I put one inside of the other. So nothing will get lost or damaged. Then I put these like this. Then I go.